On Twitter, I had a very stupid interaction in regards to the independence movement in Catalonia. And on Twitter, I posted that if people from Catalonia want their independence, they should actually do it the legal way and not the illegal way. And then there were some people on Twitter who gave me the most bizarre comments I ever seen in regard to this whole entire matter. The first stupid thing that was said to me on Twitter was that the situation in Catalonia is similar to the situation with the US and Great Britain. By the way, the context of that tweet was in reference to me saying that Catalonia should use the legal route to be independent, and he's trying to imply that the circumstances in regards to legality is similar to the UK and the US. The circumstances of America's fight for independence and Catalonia's fight for independence is not remotely similar in the slightest. The first 13 states, which includes Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Georgia, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maryland, South Carolina, New York, North Carolina, and Rhode Island, all those states were a direct byproduct of colonialization. Catalonia, however, is not a byproduct of colonialization. Catalonia is a byproduct of the Kingdom of Castle and the Kingdom of Aragon. Maybe it's me, but when I say the word Aragon, I cannot help but to think about the Japanese tokusetsu film, Atragon, that was made in 1963. By the way, if you guys have not watched Aragon, I highly recommend that movie. But getting back to topic, both the Kingdoms of Castles and the Kingdom of Aragon merged together to create Spain. Here's the second tweet that was very stupid. The second dumb tweet basically said that the situation in Catalonia is similar to slavery. They're not remotely comparable, not in the slightest. Back in 1978, the current day Spanish constitution was actually dictated not by Catalonians, but the entirety of Spain. 90% of Catalonians voted in favor of the current day constitution in Spain. By the way, that current day constitution, which they claim that the Spanish government is not really being constitutional, basically says that they're not allowed to vote for the entirety of Catalonia unless the whole entire country votes for it underneath Article 2. In other words, they democratically voted for the current day rules that they have in regards to independence, so Basically, it's a situation of people being upset at the rules that they actually agree with when they voted for the Constitution. Maybe because I'm American, but I don't understand the mindset of voting for something that you're not really in favor for. Like, if you guys in Catalonia did not want that whole entire detail of Article 2 in the Constitution, why the fuck did you guys not say anything or did not vote for that constitution back in the 70s when they actually proposed it? Speaking about things that are not democratically elected, the Catalonia independence leader by the name of Pukma, he was not democratically elected, but rather he was a replacement of a guy who was caught in a scandal. In other words, basically what happened in Spain in regard to the vote was very undemocratic even though you guys voted for that current day constitution and somehow a guy who was undemocratically elected gets to decide the future of that country even though he was not democratically elected. That does not make any fucking sense to me at all. Just, I cannot honestly think about the whole entire madness like that. What's even more bizarre to me, besides the fact that Catalonians are just bitching about their constitution that they democratically voted, only then to say that they're not democratically voting for that constitution is the fact that many of the separatists within the separatist movement has links to fucking terrorism. All these images that you guys saw just right now, basically they're separatist leaders with members of a terrorist group in Spain that is known as the ETA. Not so long ago, Pendamont went to a grave site of a person by the name of Companies, and Companies is well known for being an independence guy within the Catalan movement in the past underneath Franco before he was murdered. But that Companies guy, the guy that Pinamon went to for the gravesite, 
is well known among historians that apparently he genocide over 8,000 Catalans underneath his power. This right here is why comparing America to Great Britain is so fucking retarded. I mean, holy fucking shit. Like, to explain the situation between Catalonia and Spain is like to explain the situation of an abusive relationship. I mean, at first glance, you seem as still like Catalonia and like Spain, they had it all good together. And then later on, they got really, really crazy and apparently continued to be abusive throughout the relationship. Like, it's just so fucking strange to me how these people, they function, how they do that. The final tweet I want to respond to comes from a guy from Catalonia and he basically says that I have no idea about what happened on October the 1st. Actually, I do have an idea of what happened on October the 1st. Basically, the Spanish police were ordered to collect ballot boxes. However, things got really ugly, as you guys saw, in the footage by many people, including Tim Pohl. However, even though things were just really, really bad during October the 1st, there was like a lot of fake news behind October the 1st that I want to address in this video before I sign off. The first fake news was apparently a woman who claimed that she had an arm injury by a police officer with a cast on. However, in the next footage, it shows that the same woman who claimed to be injured apparently didn't have the cast on when she was dragged down by the police officers. Other forms of fake news includes images of people being injured by police officers. However, it turns out that the images that the people use on Twitter were years old. As far as the amount of people that were injured by the encounter by the police officers during the 1st of October, apparently at first, according to the news internationally, there were about 800 plus people that were actually injured. However, according to the Spanish media, apparently Catalonian's government added people that suffer from anxiety. So basically the numbers are actually fucked right now in terms of how many people were actually injured during that day. In conclusion, Catalonia is fucked, Spain is fucked, just everything that I know right now is completely fucked. Now before I sign off, I want to give a special thanks to the Spanish media that featured my video on their websites and I really honestly appreciate the time and effort that you guys advertise my video. And I want to give a special thanks to the thousands and thousands of viewers who watched my initial video on Catalonia. You guys are really awesome. This is the final video I will do about Catalonia in a long time. So if you guys like other content that I have, please stay on this channel and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.